Well, what up everybody? This is Star with Star Delta 9 coming at you from my kitchen. How you doing today? I wanted to come at you and talk to you a little bit about how I make hyaluronic acid. I use and make 1% hyaluronic acid. It is considered a humectant. I'm going to give you seven benefits, uh, but I would like you to research each and every benefit if you choose to use it for that reason. Promotes healthier and more supple skin. It speeds up wound control. It relieves joint pain, it's been shown to. It soothes reflux, acid reflux. It dries, uh, helps with dry eyes and discomfort relief. It is, um, preserves your bone strength. And it is also, they say, helps with bladder pain. Sometimes when women get older, they have a condition of cystitis that's chronic, and they say it helps. You can take it orally, topically, and so I'm gonna talk specifically about topical. As we get older and the natural aging process and the exposure to things like ultraviolet radiation, the sun, tobacco, pollens, and pollution, it decreases in our skin. Hyaluronic acid is actually made in our body, so as we get older, we tend to lose it and don't make as much. So what you're going to need is a very accurate scale. I'm using this, and it is to the 0 0.1 tenth of a gram. You need a very accurate scale to do this. The recipe is 98.5 grams of distilled water, which I have here, 0 0.5 grams of Germisol Plus, which I have here, and one gram of hyaluronic acid, which makes up 100%. Now, as you can see, everything has been sterilized. I've washed my hands really well. My bottles have been alcoholed out here. It's currently labeled. I have my glasses, I have my gloves, and now I buy my hyaluronic acid, and I make sure that it has the official stamp and a certification of analysis on it because I wanna make sure what I'm putting on my skin is real, one, and it's not going to harm me. I buy this in 10 gram packets, and I buy it from Costchem Supply. You always want to resource all your products and make sure you know what you're using. So I've used my scale, so I'm going to put that away. Here's my 98.5 grams of distilled water. So what I'm going to do is remove the lid, set my little handy dandy blender aside, open up a sterile spatula packet, I'm going to add my 0 0.5 grams of Germisol Plus. Now I weighed everything out on the scale accurately. I did weigh this slightly, slightly over because I know as the scraping process, I may lose a little. Now what you're going to want to do is resist stirring this. Do not stir it. The most accurate way to do it is to put it on your scale and weigh everything at one time. Now, as you can see, I've gotten everything out of there. I'm going to use the other end of this now and add my one gram of hyaluronic acid. I have a little spoon in here. I'm not going to stir, I'm just going to scrape some of this preservative off and into the container. Set that there. Now I am just going to take a small piece of saran wrap and you're going to leave it sit in this jar or whatever container you use once you have sterilized your container. I boil all my jars on the stove with glass and I change the lids every time, buy new ones. So I'm just going to wrap that 
put a little bit of cellophane and I am going to leave it just like this and I'm going to let the powders absorb and I'll bring you back. Okay guys, I'm back. I had to run a couple errands, so it's been a few hours, but I took the Saran Wrap off my 1% Hyaluronic Acid. Remember, we're making a base of 1% Hyaluronic Acid that we can use all by itself in lotion, facial creams, or products that are made with water. This recipe yields you 120 milliliters. Generally, when you purchase the product and you source the product, you have a certificate of analysis on it telling you that it's 100% pure and organic. I get a 10 uh, gram packet at one time, so I know I can make myself 10 bottles at 120 milliliters per bottle. And how we, we used this and made it was 98.5 grams of distilled water, 0 0.5 grams of hydrosol or of um, germosol plus as a preservative and 1% of the hyaluronic acid. We placed it all in the one container. We let it sit for an hour. I came back and checked it at 1034. There was still powder in the bottom, still not quite dissolved. So I left it, ran some errands, came back, and it's now two o'clock. And as you can see, everything is completely dissolved. There are a little bit of uh, bubbles. So I will give it a little bit of stick blend, straight up and down. You want to remember that this is water soluble. Generally, it's good. The product that you purchase is good for a year. The max percentage rate to use is 10%, and the pH on this generally runs about 4.2. So, I just want to caution you if you've not used hyaluronic acid before, it's similar to retinol. Go slow and sparingly because it has a tendency to dry. Yes, it is a natural structural component of our skin and it's present in connective tissue throughout our bodies, but retinol can be very drying and this is the main one of the sources of the ingredients in retinol. Now, as you can see, it's getting really viscous, real viscous. So it's all done, and I am just going to give it one more zip and pour it in my bottle. And I can use this straight up, or I can use it as a base in lotion, facial creams, or products that are made with water. You want to remember that it is a humectant. There are many, many benefits to hyaluronic acid, as I stated in the very beginning. If you are going to use hyaluronic acid for any of those, problems or conditions, please research. I'm not posting a link or a description for any specific source to get hyaluronic acid and or, and or articles. There are several, several articles that you can read and several places to source it. And I really think it's our responsibility to source our products. So. I'm going to go ahead and pour this in my container. Ooh, it's nice and viscous. This will thicken up a little bit. Nice serum. So now my, I will clean up my space that was all sterile. Cap my bottle. I'm going to try a little bit of this on the skin. Oh, it has a nice slip to it. Very beautiful. Very, very beautiful. If you are using this product, you want to also make sure that you are using sunscreen, everybody. If you're using any kind of retinol or hyaluronic acid, you always want to make sure you're wearing sunscreen and protecting your beautiful, beautiful skin. So, you have just made 
a 120 milliliter bottle of 1% hyaluronic acid. This, as I said, can be used in bases, is a base and can be used in lotions and creams and facials as long as they're made with the water. I love hyaluronic acid. It builds collagen. It helps heal our skin from the free radicals and sun damage that we do to it. It helps in, with some of the fine lines we get on our face as we age. It's an amazing, amazing product. I love it. Get you some. One plant, one love, one tree. Bye.